you remember that time I made a video going to the Bermuda Triangle? You don't. Nobody else does either. But I remember it. Take a look at this clip. Still here at the Bermuda Triangle, but potentially the scariest 12 hours are just about to begin. That clip doesn't exist. This is the clip you've probably seen. But potentially the scariest 12 hours is just about to begin. Look familiar? The clip of me at the Bermuda Triangle happened in a parallel universe. In this universe, Eric did it at the same time here. Potentially, potentially the scariest, scariest 12, 12 hours is just, just about to begin. Eric and I opened a portal when we both made the Bermuda Triangle video. And I think that portal made me switch places with the Hair Jordan that used to be here. It gets even weirder. In my home universe, Eric was an overweight, washed up YouTuber that had a couple screws loose, and I was the good looking one. But apparently in this universe, we switched roles. Now he's in great shape, good looking guy, very successful, and the hair Jordan here was the mediocre one. I mean, just look at these pictures of me from earlier this year. I must have weighed 30 pounds more than I do now. That's not me. It's not even the same body. Look at this. Does this look like the same body to you? You think this is the same? I'm telling you. It's not the same person. That other guy doesn't even have a jawline. That was just a couple of months ago. Look at this jawline. That doesn't happen. How do you explain this? Huh? This doesn't happen overnight. Any YouTuber that loses 30 pounds that fast and gets shredded like this is gonna make a video about it. I should be making a body transformation video and making some money, get a bunch of sponsorships. The next words out of my mouth should be, which is why I'm partnered with HelloFresh, but I'm not partnered with HelloFresh. I'm not partnered with anyone because in this universe, the Hair Jordan channel is in a slump. So there is no sponsor, there's no nothing. The old chubby Hair Jordan was letting money slip through his fingertips. A real YouTuber would never let that happen. He didn't even care, he had lost all hope. If I'm stuck in this universe, I'm not gonna be stuck in that body. And I'm not gonna be stuck with a dead channel. So I'm bringing things back around here. Guys, switching timelines is a serious crime. Even if it was an accident, I could be in real trouble. I might have to go off grid for a while, lay low, you know? I need to find an ATM machine so I can just get cash and use only that and non-traceable crypto so they can't find me. Thankfully, I've gone off grid before, so it's nothing new. And now I have the Jeep Commander. I mean, there's a possibility I could try to blend in and just hope that they don't find out, hope they don't catch me. I quickly realized there was only one person who could help me out. I need to find my doppelganger. A doppelganger is someone who looks identical to you, but you're not related. Typically, you don't see a lot of doppelgangers. If you see someone, there's probably a glitch in the matrix or something unusual going on. Lucky for me, I've already met my doppelganger in person. His name is Jake Pitts. You're Jake Pitts? Yes. People say I look like you all the time. I know, I've seen the tweets. He's a famous rock star who can shred on the guitar. This is Jake Pitts from the band Black Moon Brides. Yeah. The dumb hair Jordan did something right. He saved his number. I'm gonna send him a text. Hey Jake, it's Hair Jordan. I think there's been a glitch in the Matrix. I need to ask my doppelganger a couple questions. Which now that I think about it, is strange that I've met my doppelganger in person and nothing bad happened. We actually met because of you guys. He's famous, so everyone knows what he looks like. And when I started making videos, everyone was like, you guys look the same. And there were so many people tweeting it that uh, we ended up meeting each other in person because of it. It's been a couple minutes, no response yet. Hasn't read it. I only met him once. I haven't like talked to him in years. So hopefully he responds because obviously this is of critical importance. Just as I was contemplating my options, someone hollered out to me and said they had seen me in a movie just the other day. What up, what up? Yeah, I was at uh, my neighborhood Walmart. I seen this. He's actually off a movie. It was some weird. I actually felt weirded out. I wanted to leave really. I think I forgot what movie it was. Like he kept like females like in the attic. He was like a real, real predator. He looked like you. That's for sure. He looked like me. <laughs> A serial killer, a serial killer look like me? I was right. Things are getting out of hand. And being right scares me. Because in my last relationship, I would always get punished for it. So I immediately began sweating profusely. Wow, I'm really sweating profusely. He saw a serial killer that looked like me. I really need to make sure Jake's alright. I hope that's not the reason he's not answering my text. I ran home as fast as I could. I needed to make sure Jake was alright. But the sun was out and I had already lost a significant amount of fluids while talking about the doppelganger situation. Before I knew it, I was just a dehydrated husk, laying in a, lying in a pool. I was lying there, laying down, I laid down, lie down, laying. I almost sweated to death, okay? Death, the great neutralizer, come to take me home. Oh, hi. Hey, I have that same cloak. Where'd you get it? I got mine on Amazon, but I had a hole in the pocket. I didn't send it back, it was too complicated. And I just told myself, I'll sew it up one day. But I never did, so it still has a hole in the pocket.
Does yours have a hole in the pocket? Okay. Good to see you again. Sometimes when I get nervous, I can't stop talking. And apparently Death decided he couldn't handle me today, so I got to live. But I needed to find water and an ATM machine ASAP. Oh, finally, water. Oh, finally, an ATM. I'm alive. I need to clean myself up. But just as I was about to look up the killer... Guys, I just got a package in the mail from Iraq. He overnighted it. What could be so important that he would have to overnight it to me? No way. It's a sweet Pablo's t-shirt. And there's a note. The note says, I see you. And then there's a picture of a triangle at the bottom. This is my size too. If you didn't know, Sweet Pablo's is a pizza restaurant that Eric started. This was the first Eric video I'd ever seen in both universes. How would he know that? He knows. Am I supposed to put this shirt on or something? Is this gonna take me home? I wonder if we crossed paths during the transfer. We could have high-fived and I don't remember. Clearly he remembers. And... Nothing. Nothing happened. Is he just playing a trick on me? Or is he acknowledging that he knows what happened? Maybe he didn't even send it. This package came from Georgia. He doesn't live in Georgia. Then who sent it? If it's not from him, I shouldn't be wearing this. This could take me to a different dimension. It could be a whole nother timeline that I don't want to go to. I mean, what if it just gets worse and worse? I could be the best version of the Hair Georgians in all the universes, and every time I transfer timelines, my life just gets worse and worse. I don't want that to happen. I know what I need to do. I need to try to find that movie that dude was talking about where my doppelganger was a serial killer. Maybe he's the one that sent me the shirt. I wonder if that actor switched places too. I need to find out who that actor is that looks like me. He looks like you, that's for sure. He looked like me? <laughs> a serial killer? A serial killer looked like me? Man kidnaps women in attic movie. I was determined to find out who this unknown doppelganger was. And I found a website that helps connect you with people that look identical to you. But then they wanted my information. Of course they did. They weren't trying to connect people at all. They were trying to keep an eye on people who spotted glitches in the matrix. They didn't want me to get out. No way am I giving them my username and password. It doesn't make any sense. All of my doppelgangers are more famous than me. I can't get a hold of any of them. Even the one I know personally. I'm starting to go mad. I think, think. I don't like where my head is at. This place is a disaster. Did I make this mess? Can't even walk. I can't. I'm buried in stuff. I'm buried in thoughts. I don't even know anybody here. Hi. Huh? Hi. Who are you? I'm Kurt. You're what? I'm Kurt. What's that? Kurt. Where's the real one? He's gone, man. It's not coming back. Oh, okay. What are you doing here? I just crawl around in the vents and hang out and stuff. Here, Jordy made me up. You don't have a Kurt in your universe? No. In my universe, I hadn't lost my mind. Oh, you will eventually. Then you'll have your own Kurt. Trust me. I gotta get out of here. They're definitely coming after me. There's way too many things happening. I need to get off grid as soon as possible. But first, I need to make some modifications to the Jeep Commander. In the meantime, I'm just gonna have to try to blend in. Lay low, you know? Think. Think. What would the dumb hair Jordan do right now? Probably make a dumb song about his Jeep Commander. I could do that. Right after I jaywalk. 